we different? How does this process differentiate when we're creating your 3D crystal? So like I told you earlier, we utilize our own software called Cockpit 3D. Every laser will create a strike point that is different. Some lasers will create large circles, others will be a little more elliptical, and others will be even small circles or small elliptical shapes. If you think back to the dot matrix printer, if we had large dots, and let's assume I was just going to print the letter A, for example, that would be considered low resolution. However, if we have many, many small points, it starts to look more like a line. And if you compare the two, this here would be considered high resolution. Every laser machine will output a different shape of a dot, and therefore it is Cockpit 3D and the software that is essential in bringing those points together nice and tight, no matter what the shape, to create that HD appearance and that HD output. Now, it's all great that I'm explaining the science and how it works. Let me allow you to see the product and I'll let the product itself do the talking. So when you look at this crystal, it looks great. We sent a photo to a competitor, they produced a 3D crystal and sent it back to us. It has that 3D effect, looks nice and sharp when you first look at it. However, when you compare it to what we created in-house utilizing Cockpit 3D and tightening the point assortment, all of a sudden you see the difference. So it's one thing to say you're making a good 3D crystal, it's another to understand the science and actually be creating the best 3D crystal. There's three factors, optimization of your laser power, optimization of the photo, and of course utilizing Cockpit 3D to optimize your point assortment. Now if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, share, like, give me a thumbs up and encourage me to create a few more. Thanks for watching.